Hey guys, this is the Old School Game Geek, and I'm coming to you with another one of those old school video games that was hard for no damn reason at all. And today's title comes from the Nintendo Entertainment System, and I wonder if you can guess what the game was. Give up? Yes, today we are going to talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, the very first one for the NES. The game was hard as hell. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, you really couldn't get much more popular than the Ninja Turtles. Like with, with child audiences, that cartoon went over really, really well. And it's a weird concept, but it, it worked for some reason. Like, and, and you couldn't find, you couldn't have found a bigger Ninja Turtles fan. I actually thought I was the fifth turtle, but seeming as how I couldn't use any weapons at the time, um, you can't have, like, katana, uh, nunchucks, bow, size, spoon. Doesn't really work out. Uh, so I wasn't a member of, of the group. But I was a big fan. I had this book bag that kids used to always make fun of me for because I was too old to be carrying it. And you know what? Screw you kids, because I was a Ninja Turtle fan, and still kind of am, of, of the old stuff. Um, what else? I, I watched the movies. I had a ton of the action figures. Mom threw them out. Thanks, Mom. Um, but you remember? Do you remember the, the, what is it, the rap from the movie? The first one, it was like that, T-U-R-T-L-E power. T-U-R-T-L-E power. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle power. The rap was lame. It was lame. But at the time, you didn't know that, right? Of course. I was going to buy the game. I remember when the game came out, and I was like, Dad, Dad, man, we, oh, man, Dad, we got to get this one. Please, I promise I won't ask you for another game. My lying ass. I won't ask for another game. Just get this one. And we had the kind of parents that, that would get us things. If we, you know, if we were doing what we were supposed to do, they tried to reward us, which was great. When they had the, When they were able to, they tried to reward us. So my brother and I... My sisters did well in school too, but my brother and I were into video games, so we eventually got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was great. And at the time, the graphics were really good. The sound was okay, but at the time, you thought it was cool too. And what we're going to do now is take a look at why the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game was so awesome, but at the same time, so freaking hard. That's right, ladies and gents. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Ultra Games was the shiznit back in the day. The intro to this game was pretty hardcore. Like, when I hear the music, I think, I'm a total turtle badass. And all turtles are accounted for. You had Leo, Raphael, with his size, Michelangelo, who was most people's favorite in the cartoon. But without a doubt, the strongest character in the game was Donatello. So much so, in fact, that when he would get killed, I'd be like, F this game, and just throw my controller. But freeze for just a second. I have a question for you. Which turtle sucked balls? Again, that question is, which turtle sucked balls? If you guess Raphael, you're correct. He had the shortest range weapon, and he twirled it like a fairy baton, and he got you killed all the time. See? Thanks, Raphael. You suck balls. But anyway, the game starts off all the... I mean, always, what's a turtle game about? April starts off by getting kidnapped. Stay out of trouble. All right, and here's that classic sewer stage with the classic Ultra Games Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle music. Yeah, one might argue that, like, what's up with the enemies in this game? Is it mousers and flies and all that stuff? But when you think that we're talking about human size walking talking fighting turtles with weapons kind of kills that whole argument right so why was the game hard though i mean was it many bosses like these not really because they never had many hit points and they were easy to kill was it the bigger bosses the bigger mini bosses like bebop here no because if you got donatello you can kind of take them out well really take them out easily and then the main level bosses, like Rocksteady here, he wasn't hard either. You see, tearing him up with Donatello. So April was really easy to save. 
Now, Splinter was more challenging, but for other reasons. The boss wasn't so bad either. So even Mecha Turtle here, if you got the right power up, you go right through him. It's like he's nothing. This thing's cut through him like butter. Got your ass. Yep, Splinter was easy to save. Okay, or perhaps it was this. Your advisors gave you useless advice. Like this. Get extra energy with pizza. You can do it. Yeah, I know that, Splinter. Use careful timing and teamwork to win. You can do it. Uh-huh. Or go into some sewers to proceed. You can do it. Or how about this one? Don't let the Foot Clan destroy the dam. You have my support. Yeah, I better have your support, April. I better have your support. And you know why? Because I prevented you from being gangbanged by a rhinoceros and a warthog. I better have 200% of your support. Case closed. And then we have my personal favorite. The map shows your position on the ground. Really, Splinter? Is that what maps do? You know, you are compromising this entire mission, you sewer rat bastard! We're never gonna get anywhere with your advice. Okay, so here's why the game was hard. Because some masochistic developer was like, let's see how tough we can make these. And like the jumps in the stages, they had so many tricky jumps designed to just throw you off and just make you fail. And when you had to replay parts of the game over and over again, or try to get power-ups that were hard to reach, you had to try to go through these things over and over again, and that's how you ended up losing all your power and stuff. Or how about this stage? Didn't really have a boss at the end. But do you remember this being tough? I do, as a kid. But you know what's funny, man? Going back to this stage again as an adult, once you know where the bombs are, it's really not a hard stage to beat. The hardest part is that, what is it? The electronic, the electric, uh, anemone? Is that what those are? I don't know, whatever those electric things are right here yeah that was the hardest part but if you have a turtle with full power it's not so tough to get through and i went through this fairly quickly and april actually gives you useful information tells you how many bombs are left at the end that used to make you mess up right there but not so bad look at him ooh ooh swim it swim it get it and that's that man it wasn't really that hard but one stage I were one stage that was tougher than I was expecting when I went back and played was this one with the turtle van it this stage just seemed to go on and on because ah, it droned too long and I ended up losing a lot of my continues here. And I got as far as the stage with the blimp as an adult going back playing again, but I remember the, the last stage being really, really tough, not because of Shredder, but because of the stage itself. And on top of that, you have limited continues, which kind of sucks. But in the end, I love like the one word cutscenes and things like that. <laughs> Master! <laughs> but it was really cool. Great game all the way. So, Ninja Turtles for the NES. One of my favorites. One of the toughest games I remember playing on the NES. Alright, that's it for me, guys. I'll talk to you soon. This is the Old School Game Geek. Check me out at theoldschoolgamegeek.com. Splinter has got to be the most insensitive teacher in the world. Student just got killed, your best student. And you're like, who's next? Splinter, Leonardo didn't get caught. He got killed. I saw his body oozing from his shell after he got run over by a steamroller. He's dead, Splinter. Leo's dead. <laughs>